Listen, man, I have an issue. It's been years since I made a full length art book collection video and I've been slowly expanding my collection over time and adding some new titles. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do an updated art book tour. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and hop into it and show you some of the new books I added to my inventory. First art book on the list is the Art of Spyro Reignited Trilogy of Video Game Art Book. Now being serious, I never actually played this game or any Spyro game that I can remember, but I saw this art book on another channel and listen, I had to grab it, I'm sorry. I can't remember the exact channel it was, but listen, I love the fantasy, mystical, and lighthearted aspect of the characters and environments. Now I normally only draw people, like humans, which is in contrast to this book filled with creature art like dragons, fantasy villains, and more. But, you know, I still learned a lot from this book, especially seeing how the artists are able to portray exaggerated expression and personalities to give their characters more life. My favorite section though, my favorite section is definitely the environments and worlds because I've been getting more into background art recently and I love seeing the diverse worlds and textured environments they were able to create for the game. But this is definitely one of my favorite art books I own. I got this a while ago too, probably like two years ago. Next up is my cause book, a really famous artist and designer. I'm sure y'all probably seen his artwork in particular, his art figures and more. I got this a while back, maybe two years ago, but I really enjoyed reading about his progression in his book, looking at his early graffiti art, especially that was a really cool section. But now I enjoy learning about artists that are different, like use different mediums and are in different fields from me. For example, I mainly use a sketchbook and markers. You know, he uses a lot of acrylic paint, spray paint, art on shoes, pillows, shirts, skateboards, billboards, a lot of other canvases. So it's like really cool to observe. Next up is Vex. I got some coloring books for him. Now Vex, he's one of the first artists I started watching on YouTube. Definitely one of my favorite artists of all time. I really love his doodle style. It influenced my own personal style a lot too, by the way. But anyway, these are his coloring books, as I was saying. Now, I didn't really buy these to color them. I, I honestly just wanted to have a collection of his doodles, but I did end up coloring a few pages here and there. I forgot about this, but I'm not gonna lie though. Look, looking at these pages makes me, makes me wanna color. I might have to bring out the markers and color a few pages, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, every now and then I just like flipping through these books, looking at the pages, the art he created. Really glad I purchased these. Here I have a Lowish art book. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but I found out about her when I first started doing digital art, which was around this time last year. Her work is insane. I really like the stylization of her characters and the colors she uses, but I liked how this book wasn't only a collection of her artwork. There was also a lot of helpful advice and tips for traditional and digital art. Biggest takeaway for me was learning about how she emphasizes movement, flow, and energy into her characters, as opposed to them being stiff. Super inspirational. I've been trying to improve my own original characters too, so I'm really glad I picked this up. But speaking of Lois, now I know these aren't books, they're magazines, but listen, anytime I go into Barnes & Noble, I'm talking every time, the first section I go into is the magazine section, and I look to grab one of these. Now I'm not sponsoring anything, but these are the Imagine FX magazines. These magazines are super motivational and helpful. They have interviews from professional artists, page-by-page -page breakdowns, tutorials, workshops, free custom digital brushes here and there. They have studio tours from different artists they just they just have a lot of stuff now these were another thing i found out about when i first started getting into digital art you can see by the title of some of these issues but man i love reading through these magazines and seeing learning about all the different types of artists and their backgrounds good stuff in this but moving on so here i have something's off the virgil art book rest in peace but super super influential fashion designer artist he, he kind of did everything but i got this a while back probably 2021 i want to say i showed this a couple of times on my channel so i won't go into a deep dive but you know you can see a peek into a bit of his design process when it came to his collaborations with nike and off-white you can see his descriptive quotation text he uses really well put together but he has another art book i was checking i saw it yeah, I, might, I might have to pick that up in the future sometime probably gonna have to get it but let's move on to the next one next i have hebrew brantley's art book 
really insane artist and designer from Chicago. Listen, I kept seeing his art, particularly his art toys every now and then on social media, but I never knew who the artist was that made them until I seen an interview with Hebrew Brantley along with his art in it. So I, you know, I kind of connected the dots, but I had to get this art book. Now I'll be honest, I haven't opened this up too much because I've been trying to work my way through some other books I got prior to this before I like really get into this. But from what I did see, I really enjoyed reading about his original characters and the stories he had behind their creation and the meaning of them. But I'm gonna definitely have to get more into this art book for sure. Maybe even down the line, visit a museum to see some of his work too. So this is probably the oldest book I have in this video. I got this maybe like nine or 10 years ago, I wanna say, but this is how to draw the Marvel way. Now, if you've been on this channel, I don't normally draw superheroes, but recently I've been trying to incorporate the Marvel comic style into some of the different art style videos that I do. So I had to dust this book off. I had to bring it back. I'm also drawing Miles Morales for the next video I'm doing. So. You know, I had to take this book out again and read up on it. I meant to show this book in the old art book collection video I made a couple years ago, but you know, I must've just forgot. So I had to give it some camera time for this new video. Really glad though I picked this book up years ago. But continuing with the Marvel theme. So I know I showed this Spider-Man book in my previous art books video, but hear me out. The new Spider-Man movie is out right now. And because I got so many comments to draw Miles, like I said, my next video, I'm gonna have to draw him, but I haven't seen the new movie yet. I heard, I heard it's absolutely crazy. I rewatched the original and I was flipping through this art book too as I was watching it. I still love looking at the character designs, the backgrounds, colors, everything like that. There's a new art book too coming out for the new movie, obviously, so I'll probably have to get that eventually. Maybe not right away, but sometime. Another video game art book. This literally just came in a couple days ago, but this is art for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now listen, I did get the new game Tears of the Kingdom and I was mad. I was so mad because if you would have pre-ordered it, you would have gotten the art book along with the game. And I didn't know that. I didn't know that I should have pre-ordered it, but I just ended up getting the art book for the older game Breath of the Wild. I love the art style in this game. Like I said, this came in like a couple of days ago, so I'm flipping through these pages for like the first time. Now I've seen this book before, like years ago, but I always just assumed it was a video game god. I didn't even realize it was an actual art book. I would've got it sooner if I knew that. But I'm gonna definitely keep working my way through Tears of the Kingdom. I haven't got a chance to play it too much, but from like what I did play, it is like absolutely insane. I may try to make some art for it too, like in a video or something, if you guys would wanna see that, but Thank you guys for watching this video. Different type of video. Just wanted to change things up for a second. New drawing videos are on the way. So please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm out.